Hi. As you can see, I've been busy. Um, this is my original cross slide. And since it's made out of a rather poor grade of cast iron, and I think the basic design has some shortcomings, um, if you examine the wear patterns on your carriage, you'll see how the how each side is worn off. And the original machining, I don't know if that shows. The original machining is still present in the center. I mean, I didn't really use this that much. But, you can see the poor grade of it all. Anyways, this last edition of Machinist, the author talked about adding brackets to the side. Basically, what he was doing by adding the brackets was widening the carriage. So, here I go. I have some brown or brass bar. And it's probably not the best material. And I don't have a good milling machine, so I did a rather poor job of freehand machining this to fit the uh, uh, the ways. Anyways, uh, because of this, I mixed up a batch of uh, JB Weld and uh, set the set the carriage on the uh, on the ways and and waited for it to set up. Uh, I then added some screws to ensure that the uh, bars didn't move. And uh, you know it's it's satisfactory. It's not not a great job, but I did discover the the newly set up uh, um, JB as I as I slid the carriage to the right um, I encountered a tight spot starting about here and this is because the various surfaces on the ways are not I mean they must have did the the machining on this casting on worn out machines because everything all the surfaces are going every which way so basically what I had to do was repeatedly slide my my new carriage uh, back and forth on on the ways until I could get it off fairly easily uh, I've, I've described the shim and stud systems that I needed to make to uh, uh, to get the clearance tight on these wear bars, uh, hold down bars, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was soon after I bought the lathe. I would found out that the the OEM hold down bars aren't very satisfactory. Uh, the the screws and the and the uh, set screws do adjust clearance, but not very well. Uh, so I, I decided to go for shim a uh, shim pack to uh, to set the clearance and keep keep the wear bars parallel. Uh, at that time, I made them quite a bit longer than the original. The originals are just the width of the carriage, so I added roughly five eighths on each side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the whole purpose was to make the carriage more stable, and I found that the wear bars helped, but I was still getting uh, uneven wear similar to what I had on this one on the original uh, because of tool pressure and you know admittedly uh, I, I don't do the best grind on my uh, on my high-speed tool uh, uh, tools and the carbon 
uh, excuse me, carbide tools can uh, you, you can transmit a lot of force into the uh, into the carriage, and when you're when you're turning off, you know, you guys are running these lathes. You 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 see these things that I saw. But anyways, uh, so far I'm I'm fairly satisfied with uh, the wider carriage. But I think ultimately when I get a a milling machine that I can do the job on, I will make a new a new carriage. Hopefully out of better material than this uh, this obviously poor grade of cast iron with poor machining uh, but that's the whole idea so you, I guess you could call this an experiment it, uh, it so far it seems to be working pretty good uh, once once I get everything in in order uh, I don't have the uh, the straight edges the precision straight edges or a surface plate or any of the tools that you need to to do a a good uh, scrape in job on this on on the castings, but is it really necessary? I think with careful use, you can turn out good work on these machines. But like I said, I'm not a trained machinist. I'm I'm learning from YouTube, such as that is. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of information out there, and uh, read it. if you're not subscribed to Machinist, I would recommend subscribing. There's a, there's a lot of good information that comes along in in the those articles, but you kind of have to <coughs> excuse me sift through them and and pick and choose and learn. Anyways, there I am. Have a good day.